Welcome to four examples on how to convert a spherical equation to a rectangular equation. We are asked to find an equation in rectangular coordinates for the spherical equation rho equals three, which is graphed below. For review, a point in spherical coordinates is in the form rho comma theta comma phi, which are pictured here on the three-dimensional coordinate system. In rectangular coordinates, a point is in the form x comma y comma z, which means to convert an equation from spherical coordinates to rectangular coordinates, we need to perform substitutions for rho, theta, and phi, so the equation only contains the variables x, y, and z. To perform these substitutions, we use the equations below that relate x, y, z, rho, theta, and phi. So going back to our equation, we have rho equals three. Looking at the equations below, Notice here we have rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Instead of solving this equation for rho, let's square both sides of the given equation, which gives us the square of rho equals the square of three, which is rho squared equals nine. And now we can perform a substitution for rho squared, giving us x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals nine. Notice now the equation only contains the variables x, y, and z, and therefore we know the equation is in rectangular form. And we should recognize this equation as a sphere centered at the origin with a radius of three. Our next spherical equation is rho equals three cosine phi. Notice on the left side of the equation we just have rho, not rho squared. So let's focus on the right side of the equation. Let's perform a substitution for cosine phi. Here we can see that cosine phi equals z divided by rho, or if we have this equation and we solve for cosine phi, we still have cosine phi equals z divided by rho. So performing this substitution for cosine phi, we have rho equals three times z divided by rho, or rho equals three z divided by rho, so the next step, let's clear this fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides by rho. Notice by doing this, we do get rho squared on the left side of the equation, which will make for an easier substitution. Simplifying, we have rho squared equals, here rho divided by rho simplifies to one, the right side is just three z. So we have rho squared equals three z. And again, rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus c squared giving us the rectangular equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals three z. We know this is now in rectangular form because the equation only contains the variables x, y, and z. And notice how this is a sphere, but it is not centered at the origin. Next we have the spherical equation rho equals six cosecant phi secant theta. Looking at the equations below, notice how the trig equations only contain sine and cosine, though we do have an equation involving tangent here. Let's write cosecant and secant using sine and cosine. Remember cosecant is equal to one over sine, and secant is equal to one over cosine. So we can write this as rho equals six times one over sine phi times one over cosine theta. Or rho equals six over sine phi cosine theta. Now let's clear this fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator of sine phi cosine theta. On the left side of the equation, we now have rho sine phi cosine theta. On the right side, this product divided by itself simplifies to one, we just have six. And then finally, rho times sine phi times cosine theta is equal to x. This simplifies nicely to x equals six, which we should recognize in three dimensions is this plane here intersecting the x-axis at six. Let's look at one more example. Here we have theta 
equals pi divided by three. Here we need to perform a substitution for theta. We're given tangent theta equals y divided by x, which means theta is equal to arctangent or inverse tangent of y divided by x. Performing this substitution gives us arctangent of y divided by x equals pi divided by three. From here, let's undo the arctangent or inverse tangent by taking the tangent of both sides of the equation. We would have the tangent of the inverse tangent or arctangent of y divided by x equals tangent pi divided by three. On the left side, the tangent undoes the inverse tangent, and the left side simplifies nicely to y divided by x. Tangent pi over three is equal to tangent 60 degrees, which is equal to the square root of three divided by one, or square root of three. We can check this on the unit circle, or using reference triangles. Remember, pi over three is equal to 60 degrees. Here's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, where we can label the sides one, two, square root three. Tangent pi over three, or tangent 60 degrees, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is square root three over one, or square root three. So going back to our equation, this equation is now in rectangular form because it only contains the variables x and y. Let's go ahead and solve this for y. To solve this for y, we multiply both sides of the equation by x. Simplifying, we have y equals square root three x, which in three dimensions is the plane graphed below. I hope you found this helpful.